Hi Capricorns. How are you doing today? What's it's much less windy than it was earlier. So we're just gonna um do the reading out here. I like doing them outside much better. Feels more natural to me. I feel more connected to my spiritual side when I'm outdoors. That's just me. Maybe it's you too as an earth sign. The lovers. Wow. It's a great way to start the reading off. This is for the rest of August. So I know you uh you already have some August in you. Four of Pentacles. <laughs> yeah, I I'm obviously late on these. Capricorn, you're not late on anything. I'm so sorry. The universe, you're getting a really positive reading though. I'm gonna reshuffle for a minute. I hope you're all staying safe. I know it's still like coronavirus season. Not to be like nonchalant about it. It's a serious, coronavirus is very serious. I just, I just try to keep everything light because there's too much heavy energy already in the world. Nine of wands. This is a good one for you. I'll explain these in a minute. We have the Chevalier of Cups. We have the devil. The devil is a Capricorn energy, actually. <laughs> Don't take that like in a negative sense. Um, it's just, you know, um, if the devil was any sign, you, I mean, you know, it would have to be a Capricorn, right? The princess of wands. All right, I think that's probably good for you. Bottom of the deck, we have she is legend. So in the end of August here, you're really getting in touch with your more innocent and playful side. And you might be more expressive and more um, expressing your style more, which is really exciting. Um, I would love to see more Capricorns expressing their personal style because um, I think a lot of you have been hesitant to do that in the past, but now is the time to really have fun with your uh, fashion, honestly. Fashion is a way we can express our individuality. And it's really time for the Capricorns to, even if it's simple fashion, like you have your own style, it's very distinctive and it's very necessary for people to see that, um, to see that expression of yours, whether it's expressing it in your home or, or on your body. All right, so we're, we're seeing the lovers here. That's awesome. It's like so much joy and love is coming into your life in mid-August. You're also um, really coming into a peaceful state of mind with your living situation. Um, it might not be a permanent living situation, but at least the one you have for right now is one that makes you feel calm. And one you can you can meditate there or you could read. Um, you can really do some, some deep thinking. Um, if it's a safe space for you. You have found a safe space full of love. That's really exciting for you. We have the universe, like you're, you're embodying your full natal chart at this time. You're really coming into your uh, full power and you know who you are, you know what you're all about and you're just expressing that energy and everyone's, everyone's noticing that, that shift in your energy. How you suddenly have stepped into your power and said like, here I am, I'm a Capricorn and you're proud of that. You're like telling people you're a Capricorn now. Like you're, I know you might still be, some of you are still kind of like astrology's fake, haha. But like, you know, even joking about it is is a way to to um, bring it into people's minds and to get people talking about it. So even if you shrug it off, you're still you're still making a relevant point of conversation. So <laughs> jokes on you. No, I'm just kidding. But um, it's really important that you just like um, actually understand who you are and look up your natal chart. Go to Cafe Astrology, get it for free, and it's just really interesting if nothing else. Nine of wands. This is about priorities. It's about where do you wanna place your energy and focus? Um, what's most important and valuable to you? Is it to gain a lot of money so you can impress people, um, have a good reputation, fame, fortune, or is love more important to you? The energy of friendship, of, of someone very special in your life, a partner. What is, where do you really want to put your energy? If you have some free time, where do you want to spend it? 
that's something you have to think about toward the end of August. It's also important that you reserve some of your energy for yourself. Sometimes you're giving a lot to others, you love to socialize, you're like the social butterfly life of the party is a Capricorn. But it is so important that you don't wear yourself thin by not taking time to retreat and to go within, do that um, meditation, do that relaxing, whatever relaxes your mind, painting, drawing, um, watching TV even, something just to like zone out and relax. That's what you need to do. Make sure you're also keeping that balance between social life and, I know we can't have much of a social life during COVID, but you know, like whatever you're doing to socialize versus your own inner relaxation. You tend to overwork Capricorn, I know it. Make sure you're taking time to rest. Don't be tempted. There will be some temptations coming your way, maybe in terms of the socialization, probably toward the end of August. Don't sell your soul to the devil, whether it's work related, like to make a lot of money. Think about this. Think about where your priorities are. The devil will try to give you priorities that might go against your heart, might go against your peace and your, your purpose here and take you away from this beautiful, loving energy that you're currently in. So don't be tempted. Instead, surrender and have faith that all is working out and all is going to be perfect for your path. The right people will come into your life at the right time. The right opportunities will enter your life at the right time. It all takes a little bit of faith, a little bit of trust, but you are doing so well. You're doing awesome. Fall back and relax, relax. Take some time to yourself. That's my message for you for August. Make sure you reserve some of your energy for just you. All right, Capricorn, all the love. Have a great month.